where the heaviest amounts will occur as far as... It's now 9 a.m. Saturday, December 30th, 2000. We have seven inches of snow on the ground. And here we are in the backyard. And here's another quick shot of my garden. We're in the heart of the storm. I want to go right to the AccuTrack because there's a couple upgrades we made to the AccuTrack and just in time for this storm, we can tell not only the snow from the ice and the rain, but we can also give you a snowfall rate. So if we go in closer to this, what I want to show you is, although the rates have been varying and it looks like we're down a little bit in the city, probably less than an inch an hour in the city right now, we still have pockets of two inches an hour, certainly through central New Jersey right now. And again, one thing we say in the Weather Center is, and there's a little stroke of lightning right there. So that, again, just showing the intensity right now. And as you go into, let's say, the Riverhead area, a thunder snow right there. So that's pretty impressive. That's live lightning on the AccuTrack. Again, getting back to what I was saying, what we say in the Weather Center is you got to smell the sleet and rain to get into the heavy snow. So right near that changeover line, which the uh, AccuTrack is trying to depict right now, and there may be a, a little bit of mixing going in the south shore of Long Island, although my surface observations are still saying all snow across the city, is that we're talking about the heavy snow right in the city and then just to the west of the city, another corridor here through central New Jersey. All right, let's look at the storm as a whole on the north satellite as it developed overnight unbelievable classic intensification of a nor'easter right now it sits just south and east of atlantic city right now and one thing that we may be seeing is a little bit of a hop to the east and that means that we would maintain the snow over let's say nassau county and the city westward bringing the higher amounts really from here on out so we have to watch this track very closely because i was concerned that we may hug the coast a little bit and see mixing all the way into the city so we'll continue to track that but right now we're talking about a mainly snow event unless you're getting into suffolk county and eastern of the island where temperatures are around 30 right now the rest of us in the 20s here with the heaviest snow band right over the city notice teens far north and west that's where uh, the snow isn't as heavy but at the same time any accumulations you're going to get that's going to blow and drift quite a bit whereas our big concern east of the city becomes the power outages again looking at the line of heavy snow still sticking to this right now with the heaviest snow from central long island all the way back into western new jersey the track taking it probably just over long island as we go through the late day hours today Still a little bit concerned about a far western track, which would take the heaviest snow far west, but at this point, we're already going to get close to a foot or more in the city, even if we start to see some mixing as we go through the afternoon hours today. Accumulation amounts, once again, 2 to 4 eastern end of the island already winding down, 4 to 8 the rest of the island, 8 to 12 once you get close to the Nassau-Queens border, 8 to 12 into the city, but probably even more now is that foot line will probably come right into the city and certainly north and west. And again, I just want to come back to this. Let me show you the band here right through, let's say, northeast of New Jersey, right up through the Hudson Valley. That's where we can really see 12 to 18 inches of snow locally, really higher amounts in this area here. Snow amounts that have come in recently here, White Plains at three inches, obviously started a little bit later in the Hudson Valley, you will continue to accumulate. Brooklyn now coming in with seven inches, Sheepshead Bay, I slipped four inches, Newark coming in at five inches at this time. Winter storm warning, obviously that's going to continue through the rest of the day. With the heaviest snow probably going into the mid-afternoon and then a tapering off as we head into the evening hours. But I think a real heaviest accumulation where the snow is really coming down to beat the band goes through mid-afternoon. The headlines with this storm in terms of snow, wind, and are we going to get into blizzard conditions? Well, as far as blizzard conditions go, we're not at the threshold of wind yet, although the wind is starting to increase. A wind gust of 17 in the park right now, but still a little bit of ways from that. Gusty northeast winds for sure, but again, at the top of your screen there looking heavy snow until the evening hours, especially north and east. The 8 to 12 plus, most of the area outside of Long Island, where we're talking about 2 to 8 inches. I want to return to the AccuTrack one more time because there is one other thing that we will continue to track with the AccuTrack, and that is the drier air trying to poke into the storm. And I'm going to highlight this right offshore. This is the area that we'll have to watch because that could bring a lull or shut off the precipitation for a time during the afternoon hours. But right now, it's coming so late in the game that the accumulations are going to be high anyway. But 
it is looks like it's it's tracking towards central Long Island rather than coming into the city. So if anyone is going to get knocked down with accumulation amounts, it's really going to be the island, which is already getting knocked down because of some of the mixing coming in. But for most of us, we're talking about big time accumulation, and as the afternoon wears on. Stephen Laurie, the winds are going to pick up, and so that will add to the problem. So, again, we've got two out of three criteria for the blizzard conditions. We've got less than a quarter mile visibility. We've got a lot of snow out there. Now the wind will start to crank in as the storm really is explosive. It's really hard to believe, guys, that this storm still isn't about half as strong as it's going to be as we go through the early afternoon hours. I'm going to track it. The 9 o'clock observations are just coming in from around the tri-state area and back through Delaware and Maryland, and that gives me an idea of how the storm is evolving. So I'll look at those after we leave you. Lee, of course, we don't say this in a positive sense, but it is a classic storm, as you've talked about all week. And the nor'easter, I, I think everyone has heard that so much. Explain that just for a second, what, what exactly happens when it feels, you know, you're, you're the technical guy. Why don't you go with that? Uh, this uh, is a textbook storm, as you said. And a nor'easter, generally a storm that's going to either, either it's on the coast or developing along the coast, uh, a secondary storm. Uh, it's called a nor'easter generally because the strong, wicked northeast winds on the backside of the storm. Uh, this in particular is a snowstorm, so the snow is going to be just to the west of the center of the low, somewhere around 100 miles to the northwest of the center of that low track. You're going to get the heaviest snow, then you're going to get the rain on the eastern side, but the big story, obviously, the winds. A hard-hitting storm that uh, initially today, was really racing along now we're worried it starts to slow down a little bit and we really get dumped on north and west of the city so again we'll keep watching for you thank you very much lee you bet okay of course this is the time we talk about people not to be on the roads instead they should take some type of mass transit let's go to ken bear who's the president of the liwr mr bear thanks for being with us hi laurie you having any problems uh right now the trains are running uh, really on or close to schedule uh we run um, a uh, a weekend schedule today and we're running the full service uh as of right now Mm -hmm. uh, snowing very hard. It's coming down. Uh, uh, in some areas, uh, we're getting, I think, probably more than an inch an hour. Wow. You know, typically when you think of uh, various train uh, services, we think of trains as kind of acting as a snow plow in themselves, right? Yeah, well, in fact, what we do is uh, we, we put a snow plow on the train mm -hmm. to uh, where you get drifting. We uh, use uh, the snow plow to hopefully move those drifts out. We also, uh, last night, were running uh, what we call antifreeze trains and uh, alcohol trains uh, to put uh, the uh, antifreeze and alcohol on the third rail to... Uh, our, our biggest concern, of course, is always icing on the third rail. How many more folks do you bring in, uh, Mr. Bauer? Uh, I, I hope on a day like this, I think the tra traffic will be pretty light. I mean, we're, we run about 60% of our normal uh, weekday uh, trains, so we're running about 450 trains today. Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to the 740 trains we normally run. And your operators are used to doing this, even though it's been quite a while since we've seen a storm like this. It's been a couple of years, and uh, but we have been uh, spending uh, virtually all week at snow emergency meetings and uh, coordinating the staff uh, to handle pretty much every aspect uh, that we'll need to deal with in this storm. Is Mr. Bauer, is there a number that people can call if they uh, want to, to know about the schedule or they're uh, wondering if you all are still running certain areas that perhaps uh, it's going to be delayed a little bit? Uh, yes, there is. It's 718-217-LIRR. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, that's easy to remember. I hope so. <laughs> Ken Bauer joining us. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> we'll lock that in the memory bank. Mr. Bauer, thanks for and being with us. And we'll be here us. at the command center all day. All okay. Right. Take care. All you right. too. Lauren DeFranco, she is uh, standing by live uh, at this hour as well. She is at Carl Place on Long Island. Lauren? Hey, good morning, Steve. Well, I can tell you most of the people on Long Island spent the morning digging out. Let me just give you an example of how much snow has accumulated on the roads here. I would venture to say about a good six inches of snow has already accumulated, and that's conservative right here. Right now, you're looking at live pictures of Old Country Road here in Carl Place, and as you can see, the cars are moving very slowly. The roads have a nice coating of snow on them, and you hear people screaming. As they go by, people are venturing out this morning. We did speak to one guy. He was getting bagels and coffee, and here's what he had to say. But my street actually didn't look that bad, so I figured, okay, the main roads will be fine, but they're not, and it's just, this is really dumb, very dumb. I got up, I shoveled a little bit, and uh, not a good move. What did you come out for? Uh, bagels and newspaper, I'm sort of humiliated to admit. <laughs> How bad are the roads? Uh, they're pretty bad right now. Though actually, there were some roads right, right in my lo local roads that were getting plowed, but the main roads have not been plowed. So uh, anyway, credit to the town of North Hempstead, they're plowing their roads already.
again, the roads are very slick. I did take the Long Island Expressway this morning and it was very slow going. It was difficult driving on the Long Island Expressway. We're told the Southern State Parkway near Eagle Avenue westbound is also closed, so you want to be aware of that. If you're going out, be cautious. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you very much. You know, the guy admits, hey, I made a mistake. You don't <laughs> right. like it. He was wearing an Islander hat, though, so that tells you a lot right there. <laughs> I had to read between the lines, right? There you have Isn't it. It's amazing how a bagel is becoming the mainstay of survival kit through a storm. Let's go now to Jim Hoffer, who uh, is in uh, Greenberg with the very latest. Jim? Well, Lori, uh, behind me, you're looking at uh, Route 100A, uh, better known in these parts as Knollwood Road. And this road is a, a good indication of what's going on on some of the secondary roads. They're becoming extremely hazardous. Uh, we had some video uh, from an earlier accident. I know if we can take a look at it right now, but uh, one of the cars, of course, coming down off of the hill on Knollwood Road and lost control ended up into a ravine. Uh, fortunately, no one injured in this, but uh, these are the kind of things that we're hearing more reports of, and this is what we're going to see more of as this uh, storm uh, intensifies. Uh, joining me right now is the uh, Commissioner of uh, Public Works uh, for White Plains. Uh Can your radio do this? Only one radio can give you stereo sound this big, yet is small enough to fit almost anywhere. The extraordinary wave radio from Bose. Press the remote control and hear big, rich sound that fills the room. Sound so rich, popular science called it a sonic marvel. You hear music the way it was meant to be heard. Clear, full, incredibly lifelike. You've got to hear the wave radio to believe it. And now you can, satisfaction guaranteed. Call toll-free to hear it in your home. Ask about our free shipping offer and interest-free payment plan. Experience big stereo sound from a radio. Call today. With our 12-month payment plan, the Wave Radio CD is just $41.58 a month. Still in the news, the Buick year-end sell-off continues unabated. When Buick issued an additional $500 holiday bonus on select 2001 models, bringing total cash back offers up to $1,500. Analysts predicted an immediate spike in market activity. Now, eager buyers are still storming the floor with no sign of a slowdown. You have to wonder though, with holiday bonus cash ending January 2nd, how long can these market conditions last? Next week on Atmospheres, guiding ships in and out of port is rough when the weather is bad. Plus, the weather may be the secret ingredient to making award-winning wine. Don't miss Atmospheres, hosted by meteorologist Jim Cantori and Mish Michaels, Wednesdays at 8 on the Weather Channel. Right now, it's time for your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Currently, the temperature is 24 degrees with light snow. forecast for your area. Expect fair skies Monday through Wednesday with temperatures in the 20s on Monday. City is under a winter storm warning this morning. You could get as much as 12 inches of snow in the Big Apple today. We'll take you to New York City for a live report. 
Expect heavy snowfall in places just like New York City, New Jersey, and Boston today. And as you saw, the snow is already piling up in the Big Apple at this hour. And as Bob mentioned, we'll have a live report. Plus, it's windy and very cold across the south. Details ahead on Weather Center. Good morning and welcome to a very busy weather center. I'm Melissa Barrington. And I'm Bob Stokes. There's a big storm churning off the mid-Atlantic coast and as a result, we're going to see some pretty impressive snowfall amounts. As a matter of fact, we've already seen those in parts of the Northeast today. Matter of fact, you in Philadelphia are waking up to the snow on this Saturday. You've already picked up more than two inches of snow. Make that closer to four by now in Philadelphia this morning. And you could get as much as a foot before the day is over. We'll take you to Philadelphia for a live report later in this segment of Weather Center. Our winter weather expert, Paul Kosen, is tracking the storm. He joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Well, at 9 o'clock this morning, Central Park is now up to 6 inches, and we're seeing snowfall rates on the order of 2 inches per hour. So it is certainly not inconceivable that much of central northern New Jersey, New York City, western Long Island could easily, easily see a foot of snow out of this storm. So 12, 15 inches not out of the question. Let's take a look right now at the uh, current radar. We can see these bands of 